Hi guys, Matt Hancocks here uh, with another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about cellular fluid and metabolism. So, so this is um, a really important video where uh, basically, you know, we've been talking about cellular health. I mean, that's that's basically the the foundation and the philosophy behind my nutrition program. And really, you know, the fluids that your cells live in, and how and and I want to talk about how important that is for your health and well-being and the key drivers for um, metabolism at a cellular level. So it's quite an important uh, key video and um, I really hope you enjoy this one. So quickly we're going to do a little review. Um, basically at this point I'd, I'd like to just take just remind you of the nutritional process that we've, that we've been following and where we are at the moment. Now obviously um, being part of the Elevate family now, you know, you've obviously received, you've obviously received your books, and you kind of understand the uh, sort of nutrition code, um, which outlines the principles of cellular nutrition, which leads to ultimately leads to weight loss and obviously a boost in your health, well-being, and performance. So, for for me, really, uh, the, the nutrition, you know, this is the foundation that will create the amazing results you're going to achieve, not just during this course but later on as well um, and you know <clears throat> you, I, hopefully you've really kind of taken on board now some of the important constructs to the to nutritional plan. Now the exercise programming that you've been doing along the journey um, we've obviously hopefully we've brought some new concepts to that in for you to keep it nice and exciting and you know you really want to push yourself in those sessions but you know following the nutritional program really is the main is the the main bulk of the of the of the program where your results are going to come from so really although the exercise is great it is secondary to the nutrition so you, remember you can never out train a poor diet although you've got some great um, recommendations for your training programs just remember you can never out train a poor diet so make sure that you after this course you're eating clean hopefully 80 90 percent of the time to just keep your health and your and your fat loss nice and uh, where you want it basically. Now obviously following the initial cleanse you uh, where we where we kind of eliminated the wheat, the gluten, the dairy, the alcohol, caffeine, sugar, processed food and red meat that's kind of something you want to stick to 80-90% of the time so bring some of the stuff back in if you wish but generally throughout the rest of your life you want to kind of be doing this anyway because you hopefully you'll be feeling much much better um, have more energy, feeling much healthier, a lot lighter, have a better glow to your to your complexion, and all that is because of what you're eating. Okay, you really are, um, you know what what you eat. It's so true, and you know if you can glow, for, if your skin is glowing, it's, and that shows the nutrients that you're um, that you're taking in for your food are getting through to your skin. Remember, your skin is the last place to receive these nutrients. Um, it's the largest organ on the body, and so it's really, it really does show um, how healthy you are. You can tell people's, uh, how healthy people are just by the complexion of their face. If they're glowing and, and they're healthy, then they're, they're normally doing things right. Okay? So, um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Obviously, the supplementation we recommend you take on a daily basis. These are really your daily essentials. We've talked about the micronutrients before and the importance of and filling the gaps with your super supplemental, nourishing the cell membranes with omega-3 and protecting your body against the harmful free radical damage with an antioxidant. So really you should be taking these all uh, regularly every every day and you know for me Nature Sunshine is definitely the best out there. They were the first to uh, escapulate the herbs and they are definitely, the, they have the, the um, highest highest quality of any known um, vitamin and mineral company out there so definitely the best and you uh, obviously if you want to save some money you can save 30% by getting this shipped out to you every week so if you haven't done that already then please just talk to me we'll get it shipped, shipped out to you every month save you 30% um, which means that you know you can get the highest quality um, vitamins and minerals for for you know a lot cheaper so it's all good okay on top of that you uh, we did a lifestyle analysis and found a, um, you, you'll be taking a key supplement to support one of your um, body systems. Now, 
<clears throat> this was something we did at early doors and you can it, it might be good in a couple of weeks to go back to the website and do a lifestyle analysis again and just see where you are now um, you don't need to take the key supplement forever you just need to get get everything nice and balanced now we've done a lot of um, hormone balancing throughout the course throughout your journey so far and you are on specific protocols at this moment in time so you know when you get the result that you desire I think it's a good a good time to kind of do the lifestyle analysis see if any of the others see if you need to tweak the system a little bit you might find that everything's running nice and smoothly now and so you can just come off the uh, the key supplement but generally you wouldn't want to be on a you generally it would take about eight to twelve weeks for the key supplement to do its job um, for instance I, I mean I take NutriCalm all the time although it's a key supplement I take it all the time personally because it helps with my cortisol levels and my stress and I, I work long hours so it kind of I take that all the time there's no problem taking it all the time it's just you know we're saying you might want to be working on something else if you had a few few things that were low on your um, lifestyle analysis so it's always good to kind of go back and review um, I have this terminology that you know if you're not if you're not assessing you're guessing so I think it's important that we uh, that we just reassess and see see how, how the supplements have taken effect okay great so what we're going to do now is we're going to work we're going to start um, talking a little bit more detail about cellular fluid now um, you know we've covered this before but a cell does everything a human body will do okay it's got uh, respiration excretion reproduction uh, elimination and th really the building blocks that make up your tissue they are the building blocks that make up your tissues and your organs okay so healthy cells make healthy tissues make healthy organs which make a healthy body yeah so we've been looking at this in great detail over the last couple of weeks and especially um, well, especially looking into harmonizing hormones, and that has been your basis of improving your health and your and, and your weight loss, getting achieving your weight loss results. So, we the important it's important to get your digestive system right. Okay, uh, making sure that it's working as effectively as it possibly can. The transition time is good every 24 hours and so that the nutrients are being absorbed, assimilated and excreted. So as long as if your digestive system is awesome, then you look at your um, cellular fluid and your metabolism is what you want to be looking at next. Okay. So I want you to find uh, this template in your, uh, in your manuals. There will be a notes page next to it or on the next page. Um, and if you need to make any notes, just jot, jot um, from today's talk, then just jot them down on that notes page. That would be great. Okay. Now, the most important constitute in cellular health is the fluids the cells swim in. Okay. Leading cell um, cell biologist and epigenetic researcher Bruce Lipton he suggested that less than ten percent of cancers are linked to genes and 98% of all disease is due to the environment. So this is really, really important um, concept really, saying that 98% of all disease is due to the environment. Okay, So this can be demonstrated um, basically uh, with, if we think about a pe petri dish, okay, so let's suggest we've got three petri dishes here. Okay, and I'll go back to the slide. So, if you put a stem cell, okay, now a stem cell, I don't know if you know this, but a stem cell has the ability, okay, to change into any other cell. So, what that means is it has the ability to, um, to turn into bone, muscle, and, and fat, yeah? So, if we had in these three petri dishes, Okay, a healthy muscle, a healthy fat, and healthy bone, all three stem cells would turn into the equivalent bone, fat, and muscle, but only if the, if they are in a healthy environment. Yeah? If the conditions were to be altered and an unhealthy environment was present in the petri dish, then the cell would just simply would not change. Okay. Now, modern medicine will try and create a drug to fix the stem cell. So 
so I'll just put this one back on. So modern medicine will try and give, create a drug to fix that stem cell. But what we really should be doing is trying to find a way to change the environment of the petri dish. Yeah. So this is a very simplistic explanation, I must stress that. But when you consider the human organism is, is essentially 50 trillion um, cells, we're really just one big petri dish. So the best thing we can do for health and therefore um, fat loss, because as you know we can be fit and fat but we can't be healthy and fat, okay, is to adjust our own environment or adjust, um, adjust our petri dish. Okay. So um, chemical and toxic residues in acidic foods such as sweeteners, chocolate, wheat, um, homogenized milk, alcohol, fizzy drinks, these create an acidic environment. Okay, where disease thrives and it's hard for the body to shed unwanted fat. So, the, so although we've um, put this into the plan, I'm not showing you from, uh, from a say a level exactly what's going on. That's what I want to talk to you about today, uh, which I think will be really good for you. So, um, if we look at these two slides here, what we have is we have um, two slides of blood basically. And on the left hand side there we've got acidic cellular fluid and on the right hand side we have um, alkaline cellular fluid. So with the left side you can see that the cells are clogged together, the sticky blood. So um, you know it has bacteria and viruses and you lose the ability to carry oxygen. And this really is why so many people are struggling with energy levels. Because they're, they're eating the wrong foods which is creating the wrong environment for their cells. Yeah, if you look at the alkaline fluid, you can see that the the uh, they carry much more oxygen because they're free and able to move around. They're not clogged together. So what we've got to do is choose foods that are more alkaline, and um, that will create a nice, healthy environment, and therefore will help you lose lose weight. So it's important that you really understand the concept of this. So when we do the elimination diet, we're not just doing it to um, to, to stop you eating all the things you like, we're actually doing it for health reasons and you want to be sticking with that, uh, as I say, 80-90% of the time because you want to create an alkaline system and you want to create a nice healthy system where oxidated blood just flows through your body. Okay, So, this slide here will show you um, obviously some alkaline and acidic foods. Now, Nobel Prize winner Dr. Otto Warburg, his name was, he stated that an alkaline body can absorb up to 20 times more oxygen than the acidic body. Okay, So this very simply uh, means that if you're acidic, you'll feel tired and fatigued. Okay, So what you've got to do is make sure that you're eating about 80% of your foods from the alkaline um, table here. Now you'll see that there are some foods that are acidic like blueberries, cranberries, prunes. Now these are very good for the body. Okay, So it's not that you want to avoid these um, because they're acidic. What you want to do is make sure that they, are, that they form the 20% of the foods you take from the acidic table, if that makes sense. So, you know, obviously walnuts, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds are good for you as are blueberries and cranberries, so they would make up the 20%. Um, other things like, you know, beer, soft drinks, cheese, homogenized milk, um, chocolate, you can kind of live without, all right? Now I know that you might, might want to have a taste of chocolate occasionally. Why don't you go for dark, raw chocolate, because that's actually a lot healthier. You know, milk chocolate is just acidic and just, just doesn't do you any good. So, you know, it's kind of like, um, less of a, a level if you have raw dark chocolate so you, also in the in nutrition books there is a recipe to cook your own chocolate and it tastes really good so you know there are there are alternatives um, but you know the occasional splurge is not going to cause you any issues okay so it's very very important to understand that in a, an acidic uh, system fungus mold parasites bad bacteria viral infections these really really begin to take hold Okay, at a cellular level and what is typical is that the gradual wearing down of your health and energy. Ideally what you want is you want your pH about, uh, if you look at the top here, about 7 point, this is actually, the healthy body uh, pH is kind of like 
high 60s to 7.5. Actually, what you do want for optimal health is between 7 and 7.5 or 7.45. Um, this will give you optimal health. So on this program, you'll be you have been replacing a lot of acidic foods for alkalizing foods. Um, and in general, like I say, you want to be having about 80% of those from the alkaline list. Yeah? One of the reasons we age is due to the acidic nature and the toxic buildup in the fluids um, of the cells that they bathe in. So if we clean this daily with alkalizing foods and fluids, we can slow down the effect of aging, all right, which is amazing. Um, what I often do is I um, prescribe alkalizing foods to an alkalizing diet to people with um, arthritis, osteoarthritis and joint pain because it really helps with the inflammation. So, you know, if you do have any joint pain, this is something that you might want them to do. The other thing um, we want to really take note of is that cancer cells, okay, they will not multiply in an environment over 7.8. Um, because they die in an alkaline environment over, and they die, sorry, in an alkaline environment over 8.6. It is very difficult to go that alkaline, but what you want to do when you're talking about cancer cells dying in an alkaline environment is just proving that disease spreads in acidic environments. And so the importance of eating alkaline and, and, get it, and getting rid of these acidic foods is so, 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 so raw. Okay, so um, I'd say the majority, probably the majority of the people that I see when I first start with them and I talk through their nutrition, um, most people will be eating about 80% acidic, all right, and obviously what we're trying to do is change this up so they're eating 80% alkaline, yeah. Now don't forget uh, some foods are acidic but they're alkaline, but they're alkaline forming, yeah, so lemons and limes, for instance, are acidic foods, but they're alkaline forming when they digest, so they're phenomenal to have. And we, I've been telling you, well, basically on your plan, you have water and lemon in the morning, so it's, it's alkalizing. Yeah. So um, this will boost boost the health, um, no end really. So I want to just look at uh, these two items here now. People often feel tired and they go for the Red Bull or the energy drinks or they might, you know, have energy drinks like this when they're training and, you know, it's not great for you. It's full of sugar for one, but also, um, and if we look at the Diet Coke here, that a lot of people drink, okay, because they think that, because of the, the horrendous marketing campaigns, they actually think that Diet Coke, Coke is healthy, when in actual fact, um, both of these will have aspartame in, which is a sweetener, artificial sweetener. This particular sweetener is linked with depression, headaches, weight gain, um, stress of the nervous system, cell damage, and even cancer. Okay, It is linked with cancer and bipolar. So really, you want to avoid aspartame at all costs. Right. The other thing that Diet Coke has in it is it has an ingredient called phosphoric acid. Now, phosphoric acid, and it's in Coca-Cola as well, it's not just Diet Coke, but uh, Diet Coke doesn't have aspartame in it because it has eight tablespoons of sugar instead. Anyway, um, phosphoric acid, now this has the same acidity as battery acid. So literally when you're drinking this, you may as well be drinking battery acid. Yeah, and of course, um, energy drinks and Diet Coke have caffeine in, which we know um, will fatigue your adrenal glands and raise your cortisol levels. So both you want to be coming, or if you do take um, energy drinks, which I hope you don't, but if you do, you want to go more down the solstic route, which is a natural energy um, providing drink, which is absolutely phenomenal, right? That's again, that's a nature sunshine product. Um, or you just want to be drinking lots of water and chlorophyll. <laughs> um, Diet Coke, any carbonated drinks really you want to try and avoid. Um, if you really just despise having flavored water all the time and you want something else, you know, there are other like naked juices and things like that that are just pure, pure juices, remember, uh, which will be much, much more healthy for you. But remember, that's still full of fructose, which is, although natural sugar, is going to whack your GI up, uh, your blood sugar up. So make sure that you don't have it on its own. If you're going to have um, a juice 
type drink, right? If, even if it's a healthy one, it will still be high in carbs. So you're not going to have a sandwich and a high juice drink because all that is is going to spike your blood sugar out of note uh, uh, sky high. What you want to do is have some protein with it. So you'd have some nuts. Um, yeah, so you just want to make sure that you have some protein based food with even with your fruit drinks and your fruit. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me, water. Only tap water delivers. All right. Hopefully by now you're not drinking tap water, um, and because you understand that it's got so many so many um, chemicals and pollutants in it. Um, but the main two culprits for me are the fluoride and chlorine. Okay. Now fluoride um, basically is is added to water. Okay, added to the water that we drink as is chlorine. Water, uh, fluoride is actually an industrial waste product. Okay, now this is added to pub public water to prevent tooth decay. Um, it is actually a major air pollutant, and really, I think that it, what what gets me with this is that there's actually no clear research that actually says fluoride even protects the teeth from decay. Uh, there's no clear research that says that. In fact, the small print on toothpaste, if you actually look, will say do not swallow. Okay, because fluoride is is a waste product, it's a poison. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, tr I do suggest that you, uh, for your own health and the health of your children and the health of your loved ones, that you do get fluoride free toothpaste. They do, um, Nature Sunshine do a fluoride free toothpaste. Other companies do fluoride free toothpaste. You don't have to go with Nature Sunshine, but just if you are a preferred customer and getting 30% off, then you can just get some fluoride free toothpaste as well. And it's, you know, it's only a few quid, so you can get that delivered to you. Something worth considering anyway, because as I say, there's actually no research that says that it protects your teeth from decay. And if you, uh, if you are if you do want to find out a little bit more, I'm going to tell you a couple of things now, but if you do want to find out a little bit more, there is a book um, called The um, Fluoride Deception, which I'll show you in a second, which you can have a little read up yourself if you're still not convinced. I love that one. <laughs> okay, it may be dead, but I have a great smile. Give me the fluoride. So basically, um, fluoride can cause crippling bone disease. Okay, it's called skeletal fluorosis. Now, um, it's in more mild forms and kind of like osteoarthritis, but it does have um, symptoms of joint joint pain, which are similar to arthritis. Okay, um, it's interesting that more than 20 million people in the United States receive treatment for thyroid problems, and fluoride depresses the activity of the human thyroid gland. Okay, so that's why cellular fluid is so linked with metabolism and why I've combined the two things in today's um, talk because if fluoride depresses the activity of human thyroid gland and the, the thyroid gland is basically our master gland of metabolism, it's a driver of our metabolism. So if you're depressing that, then your metabolism slows down and you put on weight. So there's a real link here. Um, between between the cellular fluid and metabolism. So here's the here's the book. It's the fluoride deception. It's by Christopher Bryson. If you wanna, if you're interested in this, you have children, you're interested in uh, whether you should be giving them fluoride or not. Then you know this is a good book just to read. I'm not dictating that you should do it. You obviously have your own choice. Um, I would, with what I've read, I'd I'd, I'd rather not add fluoride um, to my children's. Um, toothpaste and I, I, I being with Nature Sunshine I use the uh, toothpaste uh, which is fluoride free so that's just what I do I don't, don't mean you have to do it you make your own decision but I, I, I honestly think that fluoride is something that we can live without okay so what we should be doing then is drinking clean water which I hope you are doing you're filtering your water um, you don't all have to go for the reverse os osmosis uh, on the left there it's a little bit more expensive I think it's about £250 to install that, but it's obviously the purest of pure. Um, but you can just get a filter, which is which is fine. Okay, so UK tap water is is compromised, as I've mentioned before. Yeah, so 
water is the water is, is, is kind of still so it sits there becomes stagnant it loses O2 and bacteria and viruses kind of grow um, we although some of the piping's changing we do have copper lead iron piping still um, and you know they kind of erode and get into the water so it's in, it's I, I think if you look into it and see how long water kind of sits in those pipes before coming to us it's a it's uh it's not great so you know it, i think what we need to do is um is just make sure that we're if we we have filtered water if we're going to drink uh, drink bottled water and try and get it from large larger bottles rather than small bottles because um estrogen from the plastic can kind of leak into the water you can get flasks and stuff that uh, so that you can just fill filtered water into your flask and that will protect you from from those as well but uh yeah, I think at the very, very least you have no tap water and filter all your water, yeah? Okay, the next thing we want to be doing, and this is actually a secret weight loss strategy, okay? This will lose, this will help you lose weight. Now, we've had, been having sort of lemon um, in, the water, in, in the water in the morning. If you, if you actually add just a teaspoon of um, sodium bicarbonate, and this will actually alkalize your body okay so that's quite a good thing to do now not everybody likes the taste of sodium bicarbonate um, I don't particularly like it too much and so I myself I take alkalizing salts which has more than sodium bicarbonate in it it has four um, four quantities um, of alkalizing salts so it's really good, really, really good for you. Um, if a tub will last you about three months. It's about 25 quid or something. So I know it's more expensive than baking soda, uh, which will cost you about a quid 50. Um, but it tastes a whole lot nicer. Um, I get mine from Phil Richards. I think that it's the best product out there. PhilRichards.com, just in case you wanted to get some alkalizing salts. If you're quite happy going with baking soda, that's great. If, if you just want the lemon and lime, that's if you just want lemon in water, filtered water, that's great as well. I'm just giving you some, some advice on you know how to alkalize your system and stay nice and healthy. Um, if you stay healthy, you'll be losing weight. Liquid chlorophyll is something that you had at the beginning with your cleanse, and it's something that you want to consider having all the time. Okay, It has the same molecular structure as hemoglobin, which is basically responsible for carrying O2 around the body. So it's really alkalizing, it keeps your body pumping oxygenated blood around your system. Um, so definitely, you know, have water and lemon, water and lemon, or add some baking soda, or add some alkalizing salts, and have some liquid chlorophyll. And that's really the fluids you want to be taking in, in the morning, and obviously liquid chlorophyll through the day. Okay, so alkalize your system in the morning, chlorophyll through the day, keep yourself um, tickety boo. All right, so I wanted to just show you this uh, this uh, page here. This is actually quite good. It's it's, go, it's government led, but um, it's got some interesting stuff here. Um, you can kind of see that you know we've, we've said that disease spreads in inflammation. Okay, so we get chronic pain. Um, we might feel frequently sick easily injured, we might have sleep disorders, feel tired, irritable, angry, all these things really uh, originate from what we eat, what we eat, okay, so, you know, red meats, canned soups, um, milk, dairy, um, instant rice, processed meats, you know, all these things kind of have uh, an effect on, on, on our bodies and can cause inflammation and disease, yeah artificial colors, preservatives, all that kind of good stuff. Now, if you look at that on the other side, you know, we can be free from pain, we can be uh, rarely sick, we can make sure that we sleep like babies, and, you know, this is just getting out, getting getting some sunlight, getting, well, probably not in the UK, but hopefully we'll get a little bit of sun, sun vitamin D, um, drinking plenty of clean water, eating... Um, good fats like avocados and nuts and seeds and oils um, all this good stuff that you've been that we've been telling you to have you take this on board and continue to do it for the rest of your life okay live a healthy life a healthy prosperous life and not don't be sick and ill okay and spread the word let your friends and family loved ones know that this is a nice simple way to kind of 
um, you, you know, benefit yourself. Um, I think it's I think it's a great uh, a great slide there. Okay, so this one this is just the last one I want to talk about the pH. I know I'm going on about alkaline systems, but you know you really do want to go alkaline. The this is quite a good food chart. You want to be eating as much as possible from the top there. Now you, I've I've said before the importance of greens. I'm going to actually put a blog post up about the importance of greens because. Um, you know, spinach, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, green beans, green tea, all that stuff you want to get into your body. It is so alkalizing and just keeps you keeps you tick, um, ticking over nicely. If you look down at the bottom end, you know, the, the artificial sweeteners, the coffee, the beer, um, white sugar, all that stuff you want to kind of get out your, get out your system. Okay, so eat more alkaline, eat less acidic. Obviously, um, coconut oil, olive oils, they're kind of um, neutral um, or slightly, slightly alkaline. Try and get your, your pH to 7.35 or above. All right? Um, you can get it tested. Uh, doctors can test it and you can get your blood tested for it. But, I mean, if you're eating more than 80% uh, from, from 7 and above and 20% from 6 and below, you, you'll be fine. So, going into metabolism then. So this one, I want you to get this slide uh, in your books, and um, there's also obviously a note page next to that as well. Okay, so we've already mentioned that we want to eliminate fluoride and chlorine and acidic foods uh, out of our out of our diets. Okay, there's another one there, mercury, and this is interesting. Okay, because when you go to the dentist, they put mercury fillings into your teeth. So not only are they telling you to have fluoride, they're telling you they're putting mercury fillings in your teeth, and these have an effect. Both have a massive effect on your thyroid gland, which can make you um, sick and can help, make, basically help you put on weight. Okay, so you want to be avoiding mercury fillings, and you want to try and get fluoride-free toothpaste. They're the two things I could probably say paramount really. Fresh. Uh, uh, filtered water and alkaline foods. There's a couple of things we want to add to your diet, so we're going to talk about this in a, a little bit more detail now. Okay, basically the thyroid gland is the master controller of your metabolism. It sits in your throat. It's like a butterfly shape. Sits in your throat, and it's kind of responsible for telling the cells how hard to work. Yeah. Now. This gets interrupted by the fluoride and the chlorine and the mercury, and if cells stop working as effectively as they should, then your BMR, or your basic, basic metabolic rate, will slow down. And your basic metabolic rate is your cost of living, and really, that is the, the, through hormone balancing and um, building your lean tissue up and eating alkaline foods, what we're trying to do is get this which is your key hormone really, your thyroid gland, I'm trying to get this boosted so that you boost your metabolism and therefore you lose weight more quickly, okay? And you keep the weight off, so you burn more calories at rest. You, that's, that's the whole principle really behind this weight loss program, is boosting your thyroid system and boosting your hormones, yeah? So, if the thyroid is the master and controller of metabolism, what we want to think about is that there's two hormones that drive your thyroid, okay? So, T4 and T3. They're the main hormone, the two hormones that control your thyroid. And basically, they tell the 100 million of cells how, hard, how fast to work and how hard to work. So if you kind of think that you're, um, you know, you've got a production line and these are your cells and they're working nice and hard and your T3 and T4 are kind of like your foreman, yeah? So, you know, this is a factory, of course, but the, ho the, the human body and what is responsible for productivity of the factory is the thyroid gland, okay? So with the help of um, T4, hormone which is secreted by the thyroid gland and the T3, 100 trillion cells are individually organized to function according to a certain rhythm and at a certain rate of speed. So the hormone determines how quickly nutrients are converted into energy and how efficiently food burns in the body. So it's really really important for fat loss. Yeah. Um, 
The tissues that make up the human body are continually being renewed. Yeah, every day approximately 200 grams of muscle and tissue cells are renewed. Uh, every minute 200 million cells in our bodies are produced to replace dead cells. And it is the thyroxine, okay, with the T4 hormone, that determines the speed at which the renewal takes place. So if you can drive that, uh, you can really tell that if you drive that thyroid, you're going to get the cells working harder, you're going to get um, the cells replenishing much, much more quickly, and you want, obviously, those healthy cells rather than the dead cells because that makes your, everything function better. Yeah, So it kind of makes sense. that we should be watching uh, and avoiding the chemicals that are disrupting the thyroid, yeah? So chlorine, fluoride, mercury, here we go, mercury fillings. So, you know, it's in your teeth, your thyroid is in your throat, it's very, very close proximity. It's something that we want to try and avoid putting into our teeth, yeah? Okay, so iodine. Iodine um, is something that we want that is often lacking uh, in, in our diet and we can get iodine from fresh fish and seaweed. So this is essential for healthy thyroid functioning. It's, uh, as I've mentioned before, the soil is very depleted of, of vital minerals now. The soil is depleted of iodine and so we need to get kind of fresh fish, seaweed, um, because our diet really, really is lacking in, in thyroid and it's, it's causing because of the lack of iodine, it really, really disrupts the thyroid gland. Um, an underactive thyroid gland, basically just, just um, evidence of that or symptoms of that might be, you know, depression, difficulty losing weight, dry skin, headaches, um, lethargy or fatigue, bloating, constipation, blood sugar regulation problems, high blood cholesterol, lack of libido, menstrual problems, sensitivity to colds, difficulty conceiving, all these things are due to thyroid and um, that can often be lack of iodine um, as well as obviously having too much fluoride and chlorine etc etc but having lack of iodine in the, in the body. So um, kelp is pretty cool, kelp is um, has is a natural has a natural iodine which is essential for um, thyroid function, but also selenium. Now, selenium uh, basically uh, collates mercury, so it's a, it's reducing the effect of the mercury. It binds with it and helps to remove from the system. So it's pretty cool if you do have quite a few uh, quite a few unfortunately have quite a few fillings. Um, it's a trace mineral. It's a powerful antioxidant. So it's preventing uh, hemoglobin in red blood cells from damage by oxidation. Okay, Brazil nuts are a fantastic snack that are full of selenium, so it's, it's quite a good idea. Obviously, you you again your your fruit, um, your fish, your fresh fish. Um, now, what interesting is that it, selenium works synergistically with another antioxidant called vitamin E. So they work together really, really well, and Nature Sunshine have combined the two together as they always do, they combine the things that work really well together and um, these will help maintain a healthy heart and liver so I often say that if you, you know, if there's one thing you take for anti-aging it's vitamin E, alright, and if this combined with the mineral selenium is probably one of the best things you can do for um, protecting your heart and your liver um, from, from aging, okay. Zinc, you can also throw zinc in um, which will help with um, problems with with uh, enlarged prostates. Yeah, so that's that's quite cool. Okay, so selenium then basically has been found. There's been numerous studies on selenium, but it has been found um, that there is a higher a higher incidence of miscarriages, male infertility, mood problems, thyroid disorders, and cardiovascular disease, and even arthritis with reduced selenium. So again, this is minerals that we are definitely depleted in. So iodine and selenium are two very, very important minerals that you want to get into your system, um, as well as Brazil nuts and seafood and seaweed. Um, so something you want to you want to consider if you think that your metabolism is low or if you're suffering from any of those uh, symptoms I, I mentioned earlier. Okay. 
Magnesium, I just want to finish with magnesium. Now magnesium, basically, 90% of the population in America are deficient in magnesium. I don't know what it is for the UK, but you know, these statistics come out all the time for the US, probably because it's the they lead by example in terms of being overweight and unhealthy, I guess. Um, but 90% of the population are de uh, deficient in magnesium. Now, magnesium is another little weight loss tool that I use. Yes, okay, magnesium is great because it relaxes, it's a relax, muscle relaxant, so it helps you sleep, but also it is responsible for over 300 different biochemical reactions in the body. Okay, so it means that every metabolic function in the cell is controlled by, um, more or less, by, by magnesium. Okay, it uh, supports your immune system, and if you combine it with calcium, it will really, really support strong healthy bones okay calcium 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 magnesium again is from nature sunshine because they work so um, so well together they've formulated the two um, this combination recognizes that each of the these minerals depends on the other for proper assimilation okay so calcium is essential to the health of the bones teeth the muscles as we know it plays a central role in blood clotting nerve conduction uh, conduction and many cellular functions. Magnesium activates, as I said, more than 300 enzymes in the body um, and obviously works really well with calcium. So, more than 80% of the natural magnesium in grains is lost by the removal of germ and outer layers, which happens in food processing. So, you probably are deficient in magnesium, most of us are. We can get magnesium from um, pumpkin seeds, kale, broccoli, um, cabbage, so loads of greens and, and seeds, but I'd say that most of us are definitely deficient in magnesium and if we make sure we've got enough magnesium in the body, it's not only going to help us sleep, it's going to help us lose weight. So it's definitely something you want to consider if you know you, you've got through your lifestyle analysis and everything's really good now, you might want to add this to to your daily essentials. But obviously you don't want to be pill popping, you just want to be taking what you think's works for you and you know if you're showing any of these symptoms etc etc okay I don't want you to be popping pills all day but you know it's important to, to know what what's what's missing in your body and in your nutrition at the moment and what you might need to aid aid it so I, I take calcium magnesium every day um, I take all the daily essentials NutriCalm calcium magnesium I also take alkalizing salts and green drinks so you know I take quite a bit but I feel great because of it and I, I you know I keep my body ticking through nicely so you know I, I try and lead by example but I don't do it just because I'm trying to influence people I do it because I know this stuff works <laughs> pure and simple um, the other thing you might want to do to boost your metabolism is is up your up your teas okay green tea is phenomenal if you have four cups of green tea it will boost your metabolism by four percent so really it aids weight loss the other one that really is good for weight loss is called oolong tea. You may not have heard of this, but it's on some slimming web slimming websites. You, I can't, I haven't been able to find it in high street stores yet. I, you can, I can only get it online. But this is really good. It boosts your metabolism metabolism about four times more than green tea does. So it's um it's a phenomenal slimming tea. <laughs> um, it tastes a little bit more potent than green tea, so it's probably not to everyone's taste. But you know if 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 it's going to boost your metabolism and boost boost your weight loss, then it's worth worth trying, right? So maybe hunt down oolong tea and give it a go and let me know what you think. Okay, that would be great for you. All right, so what we're going to do now is um, before next week, I've sent you. I'm going to send you across an email with um, some questionnaires and a bit of a fitness test in. And what we're going to work out and what we're going to find out is how old you really are. So we're going to look at your physiological age and compare that to your chronological age. And what we hope to do um, is get you, you know, five to ten years younger is what we want to be doing. And that's basically pure and simple by getting you fitter, getting you eating more healthy, um, lowering your stress levels and therefore lowering your bio age. So what I'd like you to do is fill in those questionnaires, get it back to me before next week. I'll send you across a full health analysis. Now this normally costs £25. It's all included in this program because I just want to get you as healthy as I possibly can. You'll have a full health analysis. We're going to go through that next week 
um, which is our final session and is on anti-aging. So um, we're gonna we're gonna do that, and it's uh, I'm looking forward to it. So keep going with it. If you have any questions, then just stick them down on the forum, and uh, I look forward to catching up with you next week. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.